Spokane voters could soon decide to spruce up Riverfront Park and the city streets. Mayor David Condon announcing plans today to put it to a vote. KXY 4's Ian Cole working for you to explain just how much it'll cost you. But Ian, the city is saying it won't cost property owners any more than they're already paying. Uh, that's right. Nothing more than they're already paying. Keyword there. Homeowners have paid back bonds for streets in Spokane since 1999 through property taxes. But now the mayor hopes they'll continue that support longer. It's become a punchline for out-of-towners and residents alike. Spokane's potholes even have their own account on Facebook from the perspective of the pavement. Posting pictures like this one, hello Spokane, did you miss us? I've lived other cities and this is by far the worst. Residents say it's not all that far-fetched. We're trying to repair, we use it like year over year over year, but it's just getting worse. Too many cracks and all that on the street. Along the South Hill, there's some pretty bad ones. Monroe Street gets a lot of attention from drivers because of the little attention it seems to be receiving. And Today, the mayor said Monroe and others like it will be fixed if a new measure passes. He plans to refinance three street and parks bonds to pay for it. Just as citizens have refinanced their homes and used the savings to make other investments. We are proposing to refinance several bond measures and gain greater results for the same dollar. If you're wondering why the city is bringing another streets measure forward, it's for good reason. Voters pass the 2004 streets bond most of the work is complete and it will still take 10 years to pay off through refinancing the mayor hopes voters pass a levy it'll be at the same rate you're already paying you'll just pay for a longer period of time property tax would continue at 57 cents per $1,000 assessed property value for 20 years about $57 a year if you own a $100,000 home a price tag some are comfortable with. You know, it's always controversial when you're having to spend money, but you can sit and complain about it or you can pay for it. And I think the citizens are going to have to step up and pay for this, the streets. The mayor also proposed a parks bond to re-energize Riverfront Park. It would cost property owners $60 million. That's $34 a year if you own a $100,000 home. It's part of that package where property owners would only pay what they're currently paying for longer. The city council will need to vote these measures to the November ballot. They're expected to address them this summer. Ian Cole, KXLY4 News. Thank you, Ian.